Hey Ma, do you know what burst my bubble? What burst your bubble? Young and rich hockey players. So I was watching a New York Islanders game many years ago, let's say it was back in 2013, and I saw this hockey player who had a $7 million contract. And somebody said to me, how does it feel knowing this hockey player is younger than you and has more money than you'll ever see in your life? Well, you don't know that. You know, well, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I, I hope to be a millionaire or a billionaire someday. But uh, I, I was talking to Dad yesterday, and he says this hockey player has more money than you, me, Mom will ever see in our lives. And that's probably uh, true. I, I mean, he has he has, he, he, he has a ten million dollar contract a year, and that's just one year. It's a multi year ten million dollar. But, but but does money always make you happy? Not necessarily. No, no. I, I mean, I mean, the point is. You know, even so, uh, even so, even though this guy was 22 years old, even though this guy had a $10 million contract a year, um, you know, I was watching the guy during the post-game interview, and he sounded like a duh, he sounded like a dud. You know what I mean? The guy didn't sound like Mr. Suave, the guy didn't sound like Mr. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I mean, would I like his money? Sure, because money does make life easier. Would I like this guy's, you know, to be in, per in perfect physical shape, because hockey players are in great shape? I mean, absolutely. Who wouldn't want to be in great shape? But you can do that for yourself. I mean, yeah, I, I, I can get myself in shape, but this guy isn't exactly Mr. Hollywood. I mean, I was listening to him in the post-game interview when he was talking about the hockey. He sounded, he, sounded like, he sounded like a moron, not to call him a moron. I mean, does the guy have a talent that got him the $10 million a contract? Yes, he's very good at hockey, you know, but... It's like, it's like a jock. It's like a dumb jock. It's like a dumb jock, exactly. Yeah. Um, but, you know, would I love the dumb jock's money? Absolutely. Everybody would. Absolutely, you know? Everybody would. It would be nice. It would make life easier. But you know what? Sometimes when we work hard and we make money, mm -hmm. it's appreciated and, is, and and it feels better because we worked hard for it. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, it does feel better. I mean, it feels better getting, I mean, but, but you know, would I, have, would I have loved to have been rich and famous at 22 years old, for example, and have been partying and... Because I feel like at 36 years old, I have failed to launch from your nest, you know, and, uh, you know, this hockey player, this, 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 this hockey player was a multi-millionaire, he had tons of money, he was rich at 22 years old, you, you know what I mean? He was independent at 22 years old. But, okay, I, I, I knew a family, um, years, don't, don't years ago, names. no names, years ago, very, very, very successful businessman, the father, Yeah. and owned a company and had two sons. Mm -hmm. And the sons- Keep were, it vague. They were the biggest screw ups on drugs, all kinds of stuff, doing all kinds of, ended up in jail. And, mm -hmm. and it was sad because the parents had so much money, but they couldn't fix the problems that the sons had. That being said, so you just don't. But 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 but, my, but 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 money gets you the best psychiatrists. Money gets you the best doctors. And you know, I bet I bet I bet, I bet you this young and rich hockey player wasn't eating you know fast food burgers. Right, you, know, you know what right, I mean? I bet, right. I bet I bet you he's eating like fancy foods. But and, there's ways you can. There's ways even without money to take care of your body to to have good food. Yeah. You know, it just takes more work. It takes more work. It's yeah. It's it's a struggle. So. Yeah. I mean, I bet, I bet you this. I bet you this hockey player was getting some really good food, getting getting the catering, getting you know, and and, and, and you know, it, it, it does make me a little envious, you know, uh, to an extent because. But you know, I also think you know, me, can this hockey player do a public speech like me? No. Can this hockey player do comedy like me? No. Is this hockey player Mr. Hollywood like me? No. So so so, 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 so when when the person said, "Don't you want to be him? Don't you want to be?" Uh, you know, this hockey player, John Tavares? No, because I'm Mr. Suave, I'm Mr. Cool. I don't need to be Mr. John Tavares. I, I, I'm proud of who I am. And you know, John Tavares, is he good at hockey? Yes, but I, I'm, I'm proud of who I am. You know what I mean? And that is what it is. And that is what it is.